Good morning and welcome back to The Point for Monday, July 31st. We hope you all had an incredible weekend as it is a beautiful Monday morning here in Pittsburgh. So we're just going to get straight into the news. U.S. futures are pushing higher this morning after Friday stayed relatively quiet. Investors are looking at evidence pointing to resilient global growth from the world's top three economies as economic data proves strong. GDP showed the U.S. economy accelerated in the second quarter, which has been beneficial to emerging markets as they gained steam from the momentum as the MSCI All-Country World, De- World Index advanced for a ninth month of gains. We continue to see a slew of earnings reports this week, highlighted by Apple, Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, and Toyota. HSBC's recent report beat estimates as they boosted revenue while trimming costs and are said to spend up to $2 billion buying back stock. The stock's Europe 600 index climbed 0.3% this morning, led by an advance in raw materials as producers see global optimism, while Asian stocks stayed inconsistent, although Hong Kong added 1.1% in large thanks to the report from HSBC. Bond yields stay quiet as 10-year treasuries fell less than one basis point to 2.29%. German yields advanced one basis point, while Britain lost the same amount. Tesla continues to shovel out its Model 3 to consumers as we begin to learn more about the mystery vehicle. It's surprised as the $44,000 model rang in a 310-mile range as we await more clues while they attempt to fill over half a million orders. Crude oil continued its recent bullish charge as it hit $50 per barrel earlier this morning. Although it fell 0.2% shortly after, data shows that short positions are less than half their end of June level. OPEC continues to promise cuts, and results from oil majors have pointed to reduced investment in exploration, promoting a bullish trend. Gold declined 0.1%, iron ore surged, and copper saw a near 1% bounce, pushing it to its highest level in over two years as China reported strong manufacturing data. And also in commodities, the U.S. Energy Information Administration releases their monthly report today. The U.S. dollar has lost against all of its major 16 peers as experts are betting on further declines. Blame continues to be on Washington as the administration fails to find ways to implement agenda, tempering growth projection in the, in the short term. The yen pushed higher, advancing to its strongest in six weeks against the dollar as the euro and pound both saw 0.2% declines. We are ready for another heavy week as the U.S. economy is set to release more data. Job reports on Friday are expected to show 180,000 new employees in July as automaker and manufacturing data is set to be released on Tuesday. Tensions continue to rise in North Korea as Kim Jong-un claimed the entire continental U.S. is in range of its intercontinental continental ballistic missile. President Trump reacted strongly on Twitter as he continues to express frustration towards China for lack of action. Reports from Europe showed Eurozone inflation remain unchanged. Consumer price growth stayed steady at 1.3%, while core inflation rose to 1.2%, its highest level in three months. The Bank of England is set to announce a monetary policy decision on Thursday, although investors are expecting the rate to remain at a record low of 0.25%. And other rate decisions are expected to be made this week, led by Australia and India, while Brazil votes to put their president on trial on Wednesday. So I think there's been a lot of waiting around in the last few weeks, uh, waiting for earnings, waiting for economic data. Uh, Earnings obviously have been relatively strong so far. I think like three-fourths of the earnings reports have been positive, beating earnings. So we wait for more important ones there, such as Apple, Sony, Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway. And uh, economic conditions worldwide seem to be pushing higher. Um, We just continue to see good data pumping out. GDP was good in the U.S., uh, inflation is strong across the world, especially in major economies, which is great, pushing emerging markets higher along with those top economies. And in sports, we saw the Pirates end a recent skid as uh, they beat the Padres 7-1 to thanks to McCutcheon's three home runs as we wait to see what happens at the trade deadline today at 4 o'clock. The Penguins avoided arbitration with Connor Sheary coming to a three-year $9 million deal with the forward. And Kyle Busch ended a long drought, winning at Pocono by a large margin over Harvick and Truex. And he was just shy of a record on the year as he led over 1,000 laps without a victory. And Jonathan Vegas took home the RBC Canadian Open for back-to-back victories at the event as he shot a 65 on Sunday to defeat Charlie Hoffman in a playoff. 
We hope you have a great Monday as today is Monday, July 31st here at The Point.